guys, it's Ben Solheim here from Health in Motion. Just thought I'd give you a quick tip on how to uh, address some common issues that come up with uh, low back pain that sometimes includes the SI joint. So let's just kind of orient you here a little bit. So <clears throat> we're looking on our spine. Uh, the SI joint is a combination of where your sacrum or this bottom tailbone region and your ilium, this back part of your pelvis, comes together right in this joint here. Um, so uh, Sometimes this will be a player in low back pain, but uh, many times it's not. But when it is, um, your clinician or your doctor of physical therapy should be able to identify that with a couple of quick signs and symptoms that you'll show up with and, and certainly be show up in an evaluation. So some of the common things that I'm giving for exercise to address this are two things. One thing to stretch your hip and another thing to uh, give a little bit of activity for your muscles in your hip and thigh. So uh, we'll go with the stretch first. So the first one is to put your foot up onto the chair, uh, and all you're going to do is reach both your hands down straight towards the floor. You're going to hang here for about 30 seconds. I'm looking for a stretch on the back side of your thigh and that hamstring area, maybe a little pull in the low back, but that's about it. Same thing on the other side. As soon as you're done with that, you're going to sit down, and I'm going to have you put your hands, lace them underneath your thigh there, so it's nice and tall, and you're going to push your thigh down towards the floor, have your arms just block it so they don't go down at all and hold there for about 10 seconds and then you just alternate over to the left in this case pushing down again 10 seconds you keep going back and forth right and left 10 seconds apiece uh, for three times so this is just an alternative for uh, those folks who might have shoulder issues uh, to get that force through their legs or maybe they just want a little bit more force and their hands aren't able to do it so you're going to line yourself up on the latch side of the door and you're going to get up nice cozy to that you're going to use your hands to get your leg in there. Now, I'm six foot four, so if I can fit in the doorway, most people can. Uh, and you're going to push your uh, leg into the door jam through your heel as hard as you can for that 10 seconds. And then again, going over the other side, alternating and pushing that heel down. So, just an alternative for you uh, to try it out. Uh, and then you're done. And you just repeat that multiple times throughout the day. And if these things don't work well for you, certainly come in for, for an eval.